Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Before You X Me. It's your boy JJ. And I'm the one and only A to the K, aka I School Bar. You don't hear of BBL Lobby for clinic. What comes to your mind when I say BBL Lobby or BBL Clinic? What people who are waiting to do BBL or people who have already done BBL, which one? Let me not talk. Let me just play it for you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are people who don't be here when they come fish it down. Yeah. So what they wait? They they they, they not fish it down. No. So everybody just they stand around. They hold nyash. Yeah. You know what this thing remind me of? Wait. You know that guy, the greatest song that came out of Ghana. Who song? One corner. One, one corner. One corner. JJ. <laughs> 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 All I can see here is new yashes giving themselves standing ovation. The yash they paid everybody. <laughs> but make us a question. The person went design this lobby, yeah. If you know, say they can't sit, they shouldn't sit. Why the guy put chair there? He tempt them. <laughs> Everywhere. Just put hard bars everywhere. Just put hard whole bar. Then put chair. But just look, you know everybody just in there. Nah, that is funny. What? Everyone just standing around, just holding their pain. You see anybody sit? Are they are they waiting for people who are gonna come and take them home or? Because I'm trying to understand. I don't know, JJ. Everybody just standing. Everybody has swollen bombs. Everyone is standing. Everyone is just in pain. Now, do you know what? This reminds me of a video I saw during the yeah. week. And this video, now, just basically some woman was say, was talking about the aftermath of BBL. Like, she did a list of the things that you should expect after yeah. you've done you've done BBL. Yeah, here. Yeah. Look. Look. She's basically lying there in the hospital after a BBL. And then later on, she done a list. She said, yo, this thing will smell yeah, and bruise big time. Wait, hold on. You know the BBL that area? No. But, but why the thing they smell and bruise? See, the doctor don't go do something to make you sleep. No, but because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because if you the BBL person, yash. Yeah. Why do you go bruise and smell? You know, say oh, bruise when don't bruise and smell, that way they don't give action. Yeah, now, but I for one, you know what I for one do before. Be I for one give you one reasonable explanation as to why. But I just realized that I don't have a clue, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a clue. You will smell weird for a while. You know that time we were supposed to do BBL smelly, but we didn't do it because we didn't. We realized that it wasn't really true. But then again, it starts to sound like. But then again, no. If you're bruised and you're healing, the bruise will stink, no? I never bruise and smell before, bro. When people have a Cut and they put plaster on it. Yes. You seen that dirty thing that they wear? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah that's that bloody. Yes, yes, it. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, when you bruise and you have that thing on and you can't shower for how many days? Wait, that's true. You can't shower for giving me it. Exactly. And the smell of dry blood and wound. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, your face will swell. I look like a rhino for yeah. some morning. These are all side effects after the procedure. So, from going from naturally who you are to going to be smelly, bruised, swelling, ugly rhino. And she don't put ugly for then. Now you put that one. Okay, shower. so, okay, no vex. Rhino is good looking. Right. You see some fine rhino. Right? <laughs> There's not like fine rhino, right JJ. You don't see rhino right Nyash before. Ask the question, monkey they fine. Ask a monkey they cute. But with JJ, stop. <laughs> That's what they say. They say it's monkey no fine, but my mama like him. Um... So this one took me out. She said the first shit was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the emotion she put there? <laughs> she put that. That oh. one worried ass. <laughs> Imagine where you just you just tie your nyash. You just oh, done. Wait, bum, that's bum, true. Bum, bum. Because it's bum bum. Yeah. You can't sit. Yeah. Normally. Yeah. You have to lay on your belly. Yeah. And if you want to pull. Yeah. So there's a lot of side effects and stuff that will affect. Yes. So wait, during the procedure, do they eat? When they eat, that means people will hold that shit too. Hey, can you go eat when you do inside surgery? They tie your When you're doing bomb bomb inside surgery, you're in uh, operation room one. You're sedated. Oh God, JJ, I swear to God, BBL, I swear to God, BBL. Are you, are you gonna, what's it called? <laughs> you know what's mad, yeah? I remember one time, yeah, I must have went to the hospital with one of our boys, yeah? He Which had boy? he had a boil in his heart, in his bum. <laughs> Let me think, which boy is this? <laughs> Hold on. Mm. <laughs> oh, I want, I need, no, I need to know which boy. I is. saw him in that hospital thing, yeah. <laughs> and man was walking. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's mad is they needed to operate on it. <laughs> so you bend your ass. Wait, your boy bend your ass. He had to numb his bum. Yeah. 
man <laughs> called me after his first shit. He got it. Fam! That would be emotional. He was in bits. <laughs> <laughs> he had to sit with pillows. <laughs> DJ. Hold on. Hey. Even us. Oof. When we never get BBL. Oh. You know there's a time where we have hand pull. Imagine us when we never get procedure. You know how it hurts our bum pause. Bro. Now imagine you having a procedure and you're going through that. Nah, do you know what? The funniest thing is when you see them on a flight and they're just hanging on the chair and you see the innocent bystanders that's just trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> but I don't know how you love that. I know me. Me. I know me. <laughs> I would love that. There's no way on earth. I'm sat here. You're over there and you're trying to keep your bum stretched. And I know you're just, we're both leaving Miami. Nah, I am crying. Out. I'll be so tempted to just poke it. <laughs> What's the other point? This woman said you stand to wee, you can't bend over, you start standing to eat is long. Fam, imagine that. This thing that we're doing right now is a privilege, you know, bro. To BBL, people. Ah. Go at dinner, they're taking it for granted. For, we're taking it for granted. Do you know what I realized, yeah? Nah, I, wait, people who've got BBL, how was it when you coughed? Because I know when you cough, yeah, you move every muscle. Because it's your a core, your core, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, how would, could you cough? Ah. <laughs> he's not. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Right. Basically, he's telling brother. me if you do BBL, you lose your sitting privileges. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The yeah. guy in New York here, yeah. go on. I think has now figured out transportation for BBL people. It's called BBL Uber. My God. Look, 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 look. Well, hello. This is quite genius. This guy in New York City should be in California because I would call him right now. He's basically set up a, an amazing transportation system for patients that have a BBL. That is fat transfer to the buttocks. And guess what? You can't sit on your butt for two weeks. So these patients are sitting on a... Did you see in the video? What? The, you know, what was one of the side effects of the video on your time? Take this man. Yeah, yeah. You see inside the car. You get air fresh now. <laughs> <laughs> My guy, I get confused. I know this small, but I know. Are you trying to tell me that he has smelly customers? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> smelly passengers? <laughs> hey, they say experience is the best teacher. And I feel like where we are talking, we're talking so much from one side. Oh, okay. Now, if we want to really have the knowledge and the know-how... I nominate you. But now... No, don't bother finishing it. I nominate Wait. you. We want to experiment, Abby. Want Wait, to... hold on, hold on. Imagine hold on. the king with BBL. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Stop, DJ. No, 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 no. no, no. Wait, I'm going to show you who I think you're going to look like. BBL. <laughs> What am I gonna do for life, bro? I'll come back. JJ! JJ! Okay, you go, girl! Wait, let's choke! Wait, what's your choke? Oh my days! This you, bro. <laughs> yes, I didn't make no bad. Get a stretch up, get a stretch up, get a stretch up. You go. I'm tired. Hey, you go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do this, Jay. No, 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 no. Cut that, cut that, Jay. Yeah. Jay, Jay, cut this, too. Jay, Jay, cut this, too. Cut time, cut time. No, I won't pay you watch. May you see me walk away. Okay, let me see. <laughs> the guy's standing, nigga. Ah, gangster, come on. Keep that. Maybe they woke up. Don't go. Uh, hey. 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 <laughs> Listen. He popped out the cash, this guy. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> More diddy. <laughs> you know what's crazy is, yeah? Go on. A few weeks back, I was just minding my business. Uh -huh. And then, randomly, I saw this video. Do you know who Anti Ramota is? Some Nigerian influencer. That's the small lady. Uh -huh. Should I laugh or I should cry? Because I don't understand right now. So I'm hearing a story about Aunt Ramota that um, she's allegedly in coma since yesterday after undergoing BBL surgery in one hospital in Korodu. <laughs> I don't want to laugh. I don't want to laugh. I don't, I don't want to laugh. <laughs> 
a close source, you know, gave me this information. I didn't actually believe. I was like, it's not possible. Can I try to go for self surgery? I still don't want to believe till now. But this person sent me video, sent me everything. She's, um, this is the video, and I'm confused. Could this be real? I don't want to believe this story. Now they're saying a team are trying to distance themselves from this story, like that, like they don't know anything about it, because she's not the one handling the social media. Guys, wait, wait. Let's be serious. Let's approach it seriously. Okay, first of all, okay. I hope Auntie Ramota is okay. That's the honest. Yes, get. Uh, I hope she's fine and I hope she's well. Get well, Auntie Ramota. And I hope the BBL is BBL. That's right. Honestly. For sure. But okay. All right, Jay. You're trying to get me to some serious <laughs> situation here, but I'm going to follow you. But wait, look. This is where me and Auntie Ramota, they think on how we go. We are going to do BBL at Turkey. But <laughs> our money never complete. So I recommended one doctor for Ikorodu. So we decided to go and do it at Ikorodu since we don't get money money to go to Turkey. Turkey. Unfortunately, Auntie Ramata went behind my back and do it alone because she gets more fans that give her money than me. Ah, see, <laughs> this person is a evil bastard. I say my head catch I'm not in the coma. <laughs> He said, my head catch up. He said, no, she did coma. He kept it real. But me, now my mama head, help me, come out to me. <laughs> but we won't, do, we won't do the thing before. <laughs> now my mama head, now you help her now. Okay. okay. Sorry. No. It's Auntie Ramota's thinking face. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. This is what anyone look like when they get about to make a bad decision. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First of all, why will any doctor think yeah. that her body can sustain such procedures of BBL? I totally agree. I think that doctor needs to be arrested. Yes. I think this woman that say, ah, nam, the reason nam, you're part of the people who influence that to go and do it. So this woman too needs to be arrested. Mm -hmm. This guy, we brought out the news. He self needs to be arrested. Now, let me tell you who also needs to be arrested. Why? Oh. Auntie Ramata bloody fans that gave her the money for BBL. Yeah, yeah. Round everyone one of them. All of you. Round, Round all of you up. Round everyone up. Round all of you up. You Every single her, one of them you, up. You took her small body to go and get big baby baby. She God knows why he gave her small body. Round everybody up. Come on. Every goddamn body got a guy. Yeah, there. I just think it's a procedure, you know. But that's the thing. When you're in third world country, we know rules and regulation. Anybody, whoever you are, you bring the money, you can get yeah, it. Yeah, but I don't understand what Auntie Ramata was looking for, my brother. What's she looking for? Who's looking at her? Who's trying to pay? What was the investment in that? If there's a nigga out there mm -hmm. that's looking to pay mm -hmm. Auntie Ramata, mm -hmm. you're sick bastard. I know, no, I don't think he's sick. Auntie Ramata, listen, everybody has to do. Everybody has to receive. So if there's a guy there that fancies her, Auntie Ramata to go to arouse that small uncompleted body. Auntie Ramata, we supposed to give money, just say, Auntie Ramata, Lord Jen, okay, but, well, okay. Okay, after she Jen, when you go hold her, somebody has to give her, she has to receive. My own thing is social media, nine cost her. Social media, nine cost her. Social media is the, is the cause of a lot of, of things. Of, yeah, is yeah. it BBL? I think social media is one major factor. Yeah, but we've already spoken about this in the last BBL video. I'll put it up here, so whoever <laughs> wants to go and watch it, we already spoke about, seriously spoke about this. That's why this is funny to me, so I'm just going to laugh about it. This is why, you see those fans? Those fans that give her the money, you put a pass back. You think her money to buy a house. He said, Don't give her money to go and go to school. Exactly. You didn't even give her money to say, educate her to know that what she's doing is wrong. You said, wrong. See, and Hello, baby. Beer. But do you know what? On a serious note, though, okay, and I'll end this whole video with this clip. Yeah. To go. She went to DR. She went to DR and of course, listen, your friends, they don't listen to you. They don't want to hear nothing you got to say. I'm a friend. I respect you. Do what you do. But just be careful. Go to a good doctor. She failed to do that. She went to a doctor that she seen a girl post about this doctor on, of course, of course, IG. One thing about IG that you have to know is these girls get paid to promote these doctors. Whatever amount you pay towards that doctor is being cash out to the same girl that's like oh yeah say my name say i sent you yeah they're getting a cut she goes to dr right she gets the surgery done she had lipo and she had a tummy tuck and then she has a physical right but since then she was complaining she was complaining because um, I already know the difference. I want to give you one logical explanation, but honestly Wait. speaking, I think lipo is when you suck out the fat, but you suck in the fat from the back 
I believe. I don't it, know if that's the distinctive Correct us difference. or put it in the comment sections. What's the difference? Yeah. What's lipo? And what's because everyone from? I've seen that has lipo. Was it called? Their bruises at the back. So I think they suck the fat from the back. Um, Tommy talk. I think is basically they cut out some fat and then they just talk to your yeah. They talk out in like shirts. Okay. okay. I think. I think. I think. Good, because I don't even need complaining of just body aches, headaches. You know, just feeling really heavy all the time. So she went to the doctor, and the doctor tells her, "Hey, we just got your blood results." Why is your kidney count low? So then the doctor says, have you had any surgeries? Have you had any surgeries in the last year? Yes, I've had tummy talk, I've had BBL, all of these things. So she has a CAT scans on. And during a CAT scan, it shows up. It shows up, she only has one kidney. So down in DR, this botch, organ selling doctor, took one of her kidneys. She thought she was getting the steal of her life. She was like, 3500 for all that? Yeah, sign me up. Little did she know that the doctor was actually selling her kidney. I don't know how much kidneys go on the black market, but I know it's way more than 3500 Go do operation for her. DR. Say yeah. she want tummy talk and lipo. Mm -hmm. Finish the lipo. Mm -hmm. Side effects. She come back her house yeah. for America. Mm -hmm. They do blood test. The blood test is toxic. Something is wrong somewhere. They do a scan and they find that she has one kidney because every every human being has two kidneys, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's trying to say that it was during that her lipo tummy talk. The doctor stole her kidney. Yeah. And sold it. It's actually a big market. It's called organ harvesting. Remember that wow. Nigerian senator? Senator or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they brought someone to the UK to, to donate. To, to harvest that person's organ for, that for the daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, but it's without them, yeah. oh. Bad people in Nigeria sell their kidney, bro. For a quick change. What do you mean? And they'll go to a club and blow it down and it's gone for <laughs> wait, wait, Jay, wait, wait, Jay, 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 so yeah. now, BBL, uh, you're not just risking your life for the you're procedure. You're risking your organ being harvested, basically. Yeah, that's what I said on a, on a more serious note, because this is actually a serious situation. Because, yeah, it doesn't make any... And if you're going to do BBL, just do it at a reputable, what's it called? If you're trying, if you don't have the money for it, just know that mm -hmm. that means God is telling you don't do it, because you just don't have the change for it. You don't have the coins for it. So why are you trying to put your nose where you can't afford to be in? And even though if you had the money, look at Kaye's mother. I mean, I saw rest in peace. She had the money, she didn't survive it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, tons of people still survive it, despite the fact that it's one of the most dangerous, um, what you call it. So you just have to look at the risks and just look at, and to me anyway, spending that money on a bump on your back, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think he's a bit wild, but anyway. So now she's trying to contact this doctor. Now she's trying to find out, okay, where is this doctor? This doctor disappeared, guys. Disappeared. The girl that was on freaking IG, come to find out, that girl was not even real. That girl was not even a real person. That girl was a botch account, fake ass account, and that account was actually taken down. It was shown that this girl that was like, oh yeah, my body this, and look at this doctor did this type of a job on me. All those pictures pictures were taken off of Google. Those were Google stole pictures. So that wasn't even a real person, okay? So now my friend is pretty much like, oh my God, I can't find a doctor. I don't know exactly what the hell I'm gonna do. And now she has one kidney. Now she has one kidney and she's going through a whole bunch of freaking crap. Now she has to take medication. Now she has to do all these things. And now she really has to protect her one kidney because that's all she has. The moral of this true story is please just don't get a BBL. Like if you can avoid it, please don't get it. And the moral of the story is <clears throat> not everything cheap is good in life. Babel. Not everything cheap is good in life. It will cost you at some point. It will affect you at some point because you're trying to cut corners. Don't cut corners. Fitness, health, never cut corners. You're just cheating yourself. It will come back, it will catch you, and you might not be able to bounce back from it. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, if you like, do. If you like, don't do. At the end of the day, your body, your choice. Peace. Lord is God.